Hello folks, all of you who are doing your class 12 and, and parents, and parent, parents in class 9, so I understand that parents are as need to be as involved in this process as, as students are, and young, so we need to provide some guidance. First of all, this IP matter is a fantastic exam, fantastic exam. Um, anybody who thinks that at some point of time there is an MBA in the future, you must take the IP mat exam. And so, whether we are uh, uh, willing to do a five-year integrated course on step one, what are your other options? Is your undergraduation uh, better off if you're doing something else and coming back? All of those are decisions for later. And as a standalone option, this is fantastic. And the integrated five-year course is no longer a surprise package. And everybody knows about this, first of all. The real value in the integrated five-year course is in the two-year MBA. You're going to graduate with an MBA from IM Indoor or IM Rotak or Jammu or both Gaya. And so IM Indoor, any which way you slice and dice it, is in the top 10 P schools in our country. So in whichever year you're graduating in, you're going to graduate from one of the top 10 B schools in a large economy from India, and which is fantastic. And so it is not an option that you can say, look, let me think about it and dilly-dally. You have to take the exam. And any student, any parent, sign up for it. Whether you are able to prepare for it wholeheartedly, you are able to dedicate time for it, whether you start preparing for it in class 11, class 12, only crash course, whatever that may be, you should take the option of taking this exam very seriously. Right? That is out of the way. Now, typically, uh, there are lots of exams, class 12 students, right? For the main science students, there is JE or NEET, anybody, everybody has board exams, there are assorted other exams to write for entry into your local engineering colleges, commerce graduate, there's sometimes a CUET, sometimes something with this, all of that. So we have to pick and choose some exam. IPMAT is a wonderful exam to prepare for over an 18 month or a 12 month window, no doubt about it. But if all of that is not happening, if you're already a part of the school drill or a JE or a NEET or some other exam, then you can say, look, I'm going to jump in and do a crash course for the last three weeks or five weeks or six weeks, depending on how much time you can, you can set aside. And so for all our IP mat longer term batches, we wind down all classes by about Jan first week and say, look, focus on your boards, come back after the board exams. So a lot of our crash course game begins after the board exams get over. Right? So this timeline is very interesting. So I'm going to give a timeline about how you should plan for this. Right? The board exams get over these days in, on April 12th. But again, this is 100 different variants of these board exams. Of some departments, the board exams get over by March 21st. For some it is by April 2nd, for some it is by April 12th. We put the last date possible here, but it could be any date. And then there is a JE main, uh, which is this window. Many people might be writing the JE mains for the second time. And for, for them, this becomes a meaningful window. And these are the exam part. The JE advance happens in that. For some, that might also be crucial. Now, the exams related to IP mat on May 18th, May 23rd, tentatively May 28th, later on. Last week, right? These are three exams you should look to write. Definitely you should write this. It's a fantastic college. This is a good option as well. Uh, suppose I get into NIT, Trichy and IM Rotak, what should I think? Oh, beautiful question. I would love for all of you to have that problem. And right now you say, look, I'll have that problem and then face it. Don't agonize over the potential thought processes with that problem and not apply for IPMAT, not prepare for IPMAT. Right now, the, the game is to prepare and write exams. Once the results come in, with us, and sometimes there's, for some of these, there's an interview at the end of it. And then the final admit. And so there's lots of wait lists and movements and options and all of that. Right? So you're going to be facing a period of uncertainty from now till end of June. I'm not saying embrace it, accept it. This is what it is. And so, so defer that decision. I'm not saying don't think about it at all. But that can't determine, that is not a factor for now. Right now, sign up and prepare and have a crack at this exam. I can tell you that the option is fantastic. Now, I am indoor. Also says that after, at the end of three years, you can take a one year break if you want, a two year break if you want to work and come back and finish your, your, your MBA. So brilliant, brilliant options. Anyone who's thinking of MBA should seriously think about this. If you're not thinking about an MBA, you should still think about this, write the exam and then worry about it a little later on. Okay? So it's a beautiful option. So what do we do? We offer a, a crash course. We have a crash course that starts on 25th March, once it starts on 3rd April. And so, uh, We'll do classes typically Monday to Saturday. We'll have classes on Sunday also because this is a crash course, right? We're going to cover tons of stuff. Typically in a week, all put together, we'll do 18 to 5, 30, 30, 30 to 35 hours of classes. And then you'll have to practice and prepare beyond that. And we'll run through till second half of second week of May. Then leave you time from May 11th onwards to do mock exams only. You'll start mock exams ahead of time. 
only for, for these exams. And so some of you who have their, your, your board exam or some other thing in your agenda till the 1st of April, they join this. Some of you who have your eyes on uh, the J main thing, you can and suppose your date is 5th of April, you say, look, I'm going to finish that and come back. I, I, I'm planning for another crash course that starts a week after this. I'm not put that in here. Maybe that will happen also. In which case, that will be an ultra short four week, five week thing from say April 10 to May 10, May 11. Uh, we'll cover the entire ground from first principles as much as possible. Uh, we'll have 30 to 35 hours of classes every week. Classes will happen late night through the day and some classes later in the evening, 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, sign up for it. You're, you've taken your board exams. I know you want to put your feet up and say, oh yeah, now I'm going to take a break. You still have to find another gear, push yourself for another four weeks. I'm sure all of you have signed up for a bunch of other exams as well. So the board exam gig will be over by end of March. The JE mains thing will maybe be over by 4th of April. But you're going to be writing one exam or the other throughout. So accept this. This is the world we live in and sign up for it. Uh, parents, if you have any queries, reach out to us. Our numbers are available on the description. Uh, or you can reach out to by email, WhatsApp, phone, anything. And the first of the crash courses starts on the 25th of March. The second one starts by 3rd of April. Whichever one works for you, pick that. There should be one more that starts after this. We'll find the date and confirm that and put it as a comment here or, the, or in the description. It's a beautiful exam to prepare for and one that all students must take, uh, must spend some time thinking about. And quite a few of you should write it. Does anybody, everybody need to do a crash course? Probably not. Maybe you have a ton of things piled for this and a ton of things piled for this. And then you say, I'm going to pick and choose my battles. I cannot sign up for another crash course for doing 30 hours per week right now. That is fine. But you should still figure out a way to take a couple of mocks and write the exams. Right, so there are multiple decisions here. Am I going to join? I am Rotak if I get it. Uh, do I take this exam? Do I kind of prepare for it? Do I take a crash course for it? Do I prepare it for it for 12 months? And so different answers for all of them. Right, so do I attempt this? I take NIT Trichy or I am Rotak? I don't know. We'll worry about it later. Should I take this exam? Definitely yes. Should I just know what the pattern is and know what this is about? Definitely yes. Do I take up a crash course? And I'm not sure. I think it will be useful. I know it will be useful if you take it. But all of you are going to have several exams to worry about. So parents and students should sit together and say, look, this is our A game. This is our priority. We are definitely focusing on these three exams. That means we'll take this exam, but we can't commit to a full crash course for it. Do one week of mock exam. Give it a go. That decision, that sitting down and planning, you should do. Take that part seriously. Uh, this is the outline for the crash course. Hope you all a good exam to prepare for the hit rate is low because there are few seats available and but the number of applicants is also not very high it's a good exam to prepare for uh, fun exam to write absolutely delightfully brilliant course to take because the options are fantastic you're going to be part graduating from one of the top 10 b schools in the country how much better can it get right so so definitely take it as one of the very credible real options in front of us and whether you prepare, how much you prepare, that depends on your other variables. But the exam is fantastic. Right? Super folks, best wishes for you.